Chairman. Uh, Ms. McCarthy, in my flood-prone uh, district, many of my constituents live in the floodplain, uh, and I share uh, the concerns uh, of them and the local elected officials about the definition of a floodplain. Uh, some of our local officials even sent, uh, sent comments. Uh, here I have comments uh, sent to the EPA about their concerns that the term floodplain is not clearly defined, and I ask unanimous consent that the uh, county commissioners from With, Columbia yeah. County's letter be Without placed in the record. So uh, can, can you define for me right now how this rule interprets the term floodplain? First of all, I, I think the confusion ar arose over the fact that when we uh, spoke about floodplain, people thought we were regulating land use instead of just indicating that if you intend to pollute or destroy a wetland within a floodplain, uh, that we need to have an exchange about how to do that appropriately so you won't impact uh, down, downgrade. Is the EPA's definition of, uh, of a floodplain the same def definition that FEMA uses to draw yes, its flood sure. maps yes. and determine the 100-year floodplain? Yes. Are, are there maps of your floodplains? That, that they produce. That who produces? FEMA. F FEMA produces. And they're, they're the we, same, we, they're the same def that would be the same definition that, yes. that you do. Uh, you know, in Pennsylvania, agriculture is number one uh, industry and, and, and... I certainly didn't want... I, I want to make it very clear. We did not intend that normal farming and ranching activities would stop being exempt from 404 permitting. They are exempt, and we're not intending to change that. Okay, I just wanted to know the definition of a floodplain by, by, your, by your standards, and is, they're the same as FEMA. It is, as your yes. Standards. And, and agriculture is number one industry, so you can imagine, you know, why the Pennsylvania farmers are, are so worried that when it rains, uh, that any wet spot uh, within a floodplain would be federally regulated. And as I've said once before, sometimes a mud puddle is just a mud puddle, and they would like to know that uh, that that's the case, and and that's not uh, how they feel right now. Okay. Uh, now I have one more clarification I need. Railroads operate approximately 140,000 miles of right-of-way. Uh, maintenance of ditches is critical to safe rail transportation, obviously. Identifying rail ditches as waters of the United States would create regulatory hurdles that would make it almost impossible for railroads to perform prompt rail ditch maintenance due to the extensive permitting delay and expense, leading to less safe rail transportation. Previously, representatives from EPA have said railroad ditches would not be the subject uh, to Clean Water Act jurisdiction under this rule. Will the final rule make this clear? Uh, Senator, uh, no, Ms. <laughs> Mr. Bauletta, sorry. Um, I will get, get back to you. Um, I, I know that we have expanded the definition of, of ditches uh, that would be exempt under the clean water rule to make it clearer. We've addressed uh, ditches that, that run, basically drain dry land along public lands and highways. I'm not sure of the conversation that has happened with rail ditches, but I'll certainly can get back to you. And, and I'm, if, if you've heard it, I'm hoping there'll be a comment in the record and we can take this into consideration and uh, make any necessary yeah, adjustments. You, you would agree that this would cause a, a, a safety issue and, and obviously uh, those delays uh, would, would not be in the best interest. We have been really clear in this rule that any ditch that is in dry land that doesn't connect to a tributary below is not going to have the significant nexus required to be jurisdictional under the Clean Water Act. So we will see, instead of a sector-by-sector -sector approach, we're hoping to do this in a little more uh, scientific and broad way, but we'll take a look at that issue and make sure that we've addressed. And it. since I'm the last, the last speaker, thank God. Uh, <laughs> I think it's 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 clear that from coast to coast, I could tell you, I've been called out to farms, I've been called out to, uh, you name it, the situation where they have literally shown me. I had pictures on my cell phone, li literally shown me a, a ditch that is going to be regulated or, or they feel uh, this is this is a problem from the east coast to the west coast and I, I hope we can uh, we can see that it needs to be addressed. It will thank you sir. Thank you.